Well, after spending more than a month stuck in a Moscow airport, Edward Snowden is probably waking up this morning somewhere more comfortable than a terminal. This picture from Russian TV reportedly shows the NSA leaker with his back to the camera about to leave the airport. Russia granted Snowden temporary asylum yesterday, infuriating the Obama administration. The U.S. had demanded Moscow return Snowden, who revealed secret government surveillance programs on Americans. Now joining us this morning to talk a little bit about this is CBS News Foreign Affairs Analyst Pamela Falk. Pamela, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Emory. So he's there for yes, he's a, a little over a month. Yes. Now he's out of the airport. Why would Russia do this? What's in it for Russia? Well, for Russia, there's a lot of popular opinion, and there was a poll in Russia that basically mu and many more people in Russia would like to see Russia give him asylum. And so they, I think it was an issue of popular demand, not that elections rely on that. But uh, Putin wanted, President Putin wanted uh, this, the popularity, and it was a way out of the stalemate in an airport because there was sort of no way out of the airport. True, but as and we there mentioned, were three countries that offered asylum. But how does he get there? And so, mm. uh, for Russia, it was sort of a non-starter in the sense that it, it's temporary, or so they're saying right now for one year. Right. Um, so yeah, it gets them out of sort of an odd situation, but maybe jumping into another bad situation because this is, has to have a negative effect on U.S.-Russian relations. Absolutely. Uh, the Russia restart is now on pause. No question about that. Mm -hmm. And the the issue is, uh, what, what do you do about it now? Does President Obama go to the G20 summit? Now, he has about right, a month. That's, fall, that's right? Yes, it's mm -hmm. in September. It's about five weeks away. And so he has some time. White House seems to be indicating they're questioning whether it would be a good idea to go. The American public sees it as a slap in the face, and a lot of congressmen do. Mm -hmm. But the, the bigger issue for Obama is that this is almost the perfect storm in terms of problems that come from it. One is that there are a lot of Congress people, Democrat and Republican, who are very concerned about this surveillance program, about the mega data mining and the surveillance of all Americans. Right. And so um, it, there was a House vote that narrowly passed keeping the program last week. And uh, they're a little bit worried about what this means. And so President Obama did invite everyone in. That's one. The second one, of course, is that U.S. public opinion polls, the Pew poll, showed mm -hmm. that younger Americans um, think positively about the information that Snowden revealed, even though the majority of Americans still think he should be prosecuted in some way. Right. And so um, that and now the foreign policy uh, problems, and that's with Russia. So Senator McCain was calling for an increased uh, criticism of human rights, maybe the missile defense system accelerated, maybe uh, supporting Georgia's mm. accession to NATO. So I think what you've got is um, the tensions that may occur because of this. And uh, President Obama has a domestic concern, which is he has to explain why every American uh, is listened to. And that's, um, that's something that the congressman had, had ideas. In other words, these yeah. FISA courts need to be reformed. Yeah. So here we are. We have, uh, you know, until fall when the summit is going to occur. Can anything happen in the meantime in terms of, can, is there a possibility the U.S. can get Snowden back on U.S. soil or that any one of these other countries yeah. like Bolivia or Venezuela that, you know, were entertaining asylum for, for him that he may leave right. and go there? Yeah. There was uh, Bolivia, Nicaragua, and, and um, Venezuela, but he probably is unlikely to leave. At this point, Russian law says that giving, giving him asylum means that he can't seek residence in another country. Not totally clear about whether he can travel, but I would think he would be worried about the travel because of the, the issues of how does he get there? Does a plane get diverted? Would he be brought back into custody? And given what happened with, uh, the, with Private uh, Bradley Manning and 136 years potential time, yeah. um, he's likely to stay in Russia. All right, Pam, before you go, I wanted to ask you about something else. We have received word that a number of consulates and embassies across the Middle East will be shut down on Sunday because of a possible al-Qaeda threat. How serious is this? How often does this happen? It could be what happened in Benghazi. Could that be you know, part of the reason why this is happening? Absolutely. This is caution and intelligence. And so they have some kind of chatter. They're not sure what country. And why not shut, them, shut the embassies down? I mean, it's, the idea is to avoid a Benghazi. 
Benghazi and to react to intelligence that now with all this data mining the U.S. has. Emma Falk, CBS News Foreign Affairs Analyst, thanks for joining us. Absolutely, Emery.